Hi, this is Chandra, and today I'm going to show you how I remove the background in photos for my thumbnails using a free online tool. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to show you how to use, remove the background from around your photos using a free online website so you don't have to try to learn Photoshop or any complicated photo editing tools so you can make professional looking thumbnails or any other cover art, whatever you want to do. I'm going to go share my screen with you, so hang in there. I want to show you this website, remove.bg. And this is what I use to remove the backgrounds of photos for my thumbnails. As you can see here, all it says is drop a file here or upload an image. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. And over here I have my file folders of all my um, projects for my YouTube channel. I use a file naming convention that starts with the date and then within the folders I have them uh, organized by footage, graphics, all the project files needed. So what I've done is I've already taken the pictures on my cell phone and put them in the graphics folder and all I do is take a picture with my cell phone. So you can see right here I have the picture that I, you know, ended up on that was going to be great for the thumbnail. Uh, the content is kind of unique, so I try to take unique photo. And I drop it into this remove background tool, and there you go. You can see it stripped out the background perfectly. Let me make this a little bigger. It usually does a really good job, as long as I hold items close to my face, it does a really good job of, you know, including them in the image. But if for some reason it didn't, I can click this edit button. And you get two choices here. You can erase or restore. So if it gave too much that you want to take out, you can erase it. But it looks like here, like maybe it's missed some at my glasses. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that and see if I can restore it. I always make the brush size super small. You don't get a lot of freedom here. So here you can see my brush. Ooh, I guess we lost my indicator. But if I want to draw this back in here so that it doesn't look like there's a weird white line where my glasses were making a reflection, I can take this small brush and restore. Now, if you mess up, you can hit the little uh, undo arrow there. And I find and it'll only it'll undo every step. So I find that it's better to take uh, small steps, you know, do a little and then let go with the mouse. Do a little and then let go with the mouse. That way you can back it out. Oh, see, I think I went too far. I didn't like that line. So I'm going to go ahead and back that up. All right, but overall, you can see I, I filled in where my glasses had made a mistake. If I wanted to erase some of my hair, if I don't like them, you know, I can do this. Sometimes uh, I've got some strays that'll be distracting. Let me make this brush size bigger so you can see it. So right here, you can see, like, I could draw my hair, you know, out if it was, if I wanted to. There you go. That's beautiful. And then if you don't like it, you just undo it back. All right. Now, I think the picture is fine. I'm ready to use it. I'm going to go ahead and hit download and download image. And then I just drag and drop it into my project file. And now you can see I have the image uh, normal and then I have the image with the background removed. Sometimes I've noticed these will look like it's a black background and that doesn't matter. It's still transparent. So there you go. This is the free tool that I use to remove the backgrounds. Just close it when you're done and drag another image. So. If I want to go to my next project, I've kind of all got all my pictures already. Go to graphics and oh, I apparently already did this one, but I can just drag it in there. This website does not save them in any way. It doesn't save them, but that's why I always save my original picture. Ah, see, here's a good one. Uh, I think it got the trim in the back and I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit edit. 
Let me make this bigger so you can see it. I want to take out that trim. So I'm going to hit erase. I'm going to zoom in nice and big so that I can see what I'm, <coughs> what I'm working with. All right, and I'm on a race, so I'm gonna just go ahead and see if I can draw that as straight of a line as possible. And I find that, you know, because I'm zoomed in, it might look awful, but once I zoom back out, it looks okay. All right, get those little edges, get that edge, and I think I'm happy with that. Yep. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit download, download image, and once again, drag and drop it into my project file. And there we go. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I hope that this helps you get your YouTube channel up and running.